First, carefully remove the protective cap from the electrode body. Next, carefully unscrew the cap from the bottom of the electrode opposite the connector and discard the solution. Using the membrane tool provided, pop the membrane cartridge from the cap by placing the tool at the bottom of the cap and pushing the cartridge inward. After the membrane cartridge is removed from the cap, inspect all of the O-rings. One O-ring is lo located inside the cap and the second O-ring is located above the threads of the body where the cap meets the body. If any O-ring appear to be damaged, replace it with the spare O-ring provided. Inspect the platinum cathode, which is the wire encased in the glass cylinder at the tip of the electrode body. Wipe gently with a tissue paper and see if there are any cracks in the glass or any damage around the cathode. Inspect the anode, which is the metal cylinder surrounding the cathode located below the threads of the body where the cap meets the body. If the metal surface is covered with a thick coating, then anode cleaning is recommended. Then, take a new membrane cartridge and push the membrane cartridge into the outer cap with the membrane facing downward using the membrane tool provided. Push until the membrane is pressed tightly at the bottom of the cap. Fill the cap with electrolyte to the top of the membrane cartridge or one-thirds full using the syringe provided. Finally, hold the electrode in an upright position and gently screw the cap back onto the body until the O-ring is no longer visible and the cap is sealed to the electrode body. Wipe the electrode with a soft tissue to remove any excess liquid that has appeared during the assembly. Invert the electrode and make sure the membrane is uniformly stretched across the cathode surface. Inspect the membrane for tears or leakage. If damaged, replace the cartridge. Blot the membrane with a soft tissue to see if there is any wetness due to electrolyte leakage. If the membrane is leaking, repeat resealing the cartridge. 